motorcycle is whatever you want to make it. Turn it on, you can give yourself a real thrill. Definitely a beast. There's the little buck right there. This engine is deceptive. Just most engines I can ride for a day. Pretty much figure out the rev range. This just has different levels of high rev. It's a, it's a good thing. It's definitely not a bad thing. This engine is way faster than you think it is. Welcome to Emmett, Idaho, mainly known for its meth, STDs, and police that will pull you over for going too over the speed limit, especially if you don't have local license plates. These storage units are the storage units. The storage units are the main factor that keeps Emmett, Idaho running because there are so many hoarders here that they like to store things and have extra places to store things. Legend has it, many of the residents here spend their entire paychecks on storage units. Sonic is fine dining here. The locals had the Google rating of Sonic brought up to a five-star restaurant instead of a two-star because they felt that it was fine dining. Oh snap, I'm going 30 and a 25 right now. Look behind me, look ahead of me, look to my right, look to my left. I'm getting pulled over. They've got me. I don't know how, but they found me. Run for it, Marty. Emmett, Idaho, for me, means Little Jim Cycle Park. That's one of the first places I ever rode in Idaho. You may ask why I'm giving you a tour of this particular section of Emmett, Idaho. The answer is that I'm lost. They have a buy right ethanol-free high octane, which is a beautiful thing. And a chiropractor right there. Look, another chiropractor. Everybody in Emmett, Idaho works so hard that they all need chiropractors, so storage units really run the economy here, but also chiropractors because they have to move all their things around so much because they buy a lot of couches here. This is downtown. Old brick buildings. Best place to eat here by far is Cowboys Chop House, by far. Check it out, super tasty steak. That's the only positive thing I will say in this video because it wouldn't be a this is what happens in Emmett, Idaho video if it was all positivity. Now I'm surprised I haven't gotten pulled over yet because generally if you're breathing while driving, um, you will be pulled over at some point. That Felicia behind me slammed on his brakes. It appeared to me that he was attempting to do a U-turn. More to come later. 
there's a train that goes through here. They carry couches, used couches, to storage units. And old trinkets that people like to buy. Uh, a lot of porcelain dolls and pots and figurines. It's mainly what people here store in the storage units. The Costa, that's some Mexican food right there. It's pretty good. There's pipe fittings. They lay some quality pipe. It'll fit. Here's a God Blessed River. There's some floaters down there. They have floaters. I wonder if they know they have floaters. But you can float the river here. A lot of people don't know you can float the river. But, yep, you can float it. Now, if you get pulled over, oftentimes it'll be by a gentleman who sleeps with his badge under his pillow. Likely with a mustache and a flat top. He never joined the military, but he wishes he had. He has a collection of uh, badges at his house displayed on his wall. He's probably below average stature. He goes to the military surplus store and gets a lot of used camo. He'll say it's because he's wanting to save money on camouflage gear, but really it's because he wants to look like he's been in the military. To my right, we go up Black Canyon, and it goes up towards Horseshoe Bend, Garden Valley, other places. And now we are exiting the legendary Emmett, Idaho, and we are going into the unknown adventure of New Plymouth, Payette, Fruitland, and finally, Inmateville. I mean, Ontario. This has been another episode. This is episode number two of This Is What Happens. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.